Oh, we are working in the kitchen. You know, some things go great together, like chocolate and peanut butter. Cheryl and Leanne, yes, you know, we're here right. in the kitchen. Big Herm's baking partner extraordinaire, Leanne Fletcher, is here. Um, today we're going to make something decadent with chocolate and peanut butter, and it's a cake. And and I don't even know that we have to cook this cake, do we? Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Yeah, just a tad bit, and that's, again, you know, simplicity is what I like. So anything that we can find to... You know, speed up the process, but it's still homemade and it's still good. I like that. That's this is going to be a surprise to me because I haven't seen the recipe. Yeah, the so sheet I got was blank. A so. little last minute, but that's all right. You know, we just said, sure, we'll be there and, you know, we'll throw a recipe together we'll tonight. Do something. Well, you know, something sweet and quick and easy is always fun. Yes. So um, last night I made this mm -hmm. quick and easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and heavy, and, apparently, and according heavy, to yes. Greg. Um, so, you know, we're going to do it today. Um, for the sake of TV, what we already have here is um, nutty butters. So the little cookies that look like peanuts. Oh, yeah. Yep. And so they're cream filled with like peanut butter. You got it. So mm -hmm. peanut butter and peanut butter. Um, just crush them up. You know how I like to use yeah, my with bag. Yeah, bag and, and your rolling pin absolutely. or whatever you've got handy that can crush whatever. anything. Whatever. you got food processor can work as well. Um, and then about four tablespoons, five tablespoons of butter. Okay. Because and, it needs to come together. Yeah. So this is going to be your crust okay. for the bottom part. And then put that in the oven so that it gets firm for about 10 minutes. So that's the oven part. That's the oven part. Okay. And then it's off. Oh, I no like more. that. <laughs> yes. So, um, and then completely cool it down. Mm -hmm. And we are going to add some mixture of, this is just chocolate pudding in here. And are we using instant or regular pudding? So the instant that we get right there on the, that we see on the shelf. Because it does make a difference. It does. <laughs> and then we're just going to whip this together. And this is making our pudding mixture. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a layered, kind of a layered cake. But again, it's not a lot of work. And if it's one of those things where you want to make the pudding ahead of time, put it inside the refrigerator, mm -hmm. then you can certainly do that. Have it ready to go. So you have your apron on. If you want to continue whisking oh, okay. that, get that to the thickness that. that works. Um, in my mixer, we already have about a half, about four ounces of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Again, make sure it's at room temperature, just like we always have our cream cheese. And when we're baking, we talk about this all the time. It makes a huge difference. It does. You know, so you're going to either you get, follow the directions. You're either going to get clumps or it's going to be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so with that, what we're going to do is we're going to add in. We already have some vanilla in there, and we're going to add in some peanut butter to that. Mm -hmm. And then about three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. And that's going to make it really nice and fluffy. And again, just mix that well together. Um, that pudding is already coming yep, it's together. it's thickening up. And then at that point, what you're going to do is you're going to take that and pour it right on top. Okay. Of so you're the, ready to pour it on yeah, top? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Pour it right on top of the um, crust there. And we'll finish getting this part done over here. And always scrape our bowl so we get love to everything bowls, yeah. together. If not, the peanut butter is going to be on one side, <laughs> and you're going to have your cream cheese mixture all on the other side. It is not going to blend well. Now, to make this so that it's nice and smooth to go over your mixture that you just put there, mm -hmm. we are going to, all together, we're going to use in this recipe a whole tub of Cool Whip. This is my kind of recipe. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to take about a cup out prior, and we're going to add it in. To this. And it lightens the mixture. Fluffs it up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly right. And again, simplicity is what I like. If you, it's something that you can get the kids involved in and doing all these things. Again, this really doesn't consider any knives here in this one. Um, we only have the 10 minute timer there as far as the bake time. Um, so definitely a kid friendly you know, recipe that all the, the kids can definitely get involved and in. And it's pretty much um, ingredients that most people keep in the house anyway. So if you needed a quick you know, Absolutely. dessert, you could do this. Cool Whip stays in your freezer. Yep, so you it's can, ready to go. So it's ready to go. Usually with one spoonful or two missing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then this, I just kind of dollop on there because it is a little bit thicker. Um, and then again, your chocolate pudding is in a box. So with that, you can keep it inside your pantry mm -hmm. for it. And so we smooth this part out. And of course, we always have one that's already done. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, it is a little bit thicker on here. If you want to make this as too, depending on how much peanut butter you like. You mm -hmm. can always up the peanut butter some on that. 
um, or you can add more Cool Whip inside of it as well. And that's going to layer up there with the on top of the peanut butter. We're going to put more Cool Whip, and then Absolutely. we're going to top it. You got it with them. Chocolate chips and peanut butter chips, I yeah. believe. Yeah, chocolate chips and peanut butter chips. Again, if you want to, and I will tell you this, you can change it up a little bit. If you like toffee. Oh. See? Yeah, there you go. They have those toffee <laughs> chips, so you can put that on top of there. But yeah, just layer it just like that. Well, you were nice enough to bring the recipe, so we will put that up on our website by early this afternoon at WTDR.com slash VTM. Thanks, Leanne. Thank you.